So my name is Dr Andrew Bradford, I'm a specialist in rehabilitation medicine and today I'm going to talk to you about functional neurological disorder or FND. I'm going to talk a little bit about what it is, about the symptoms, about the diagnosis and the treatment. Um, functional neurological disorder is characterised by weakness often affecting the limbs. Um, it can also cause abnormal posturing, or muscle tightness, it can cause tremor. Uh, it can also cause changes in awareness, blanking out or falling to the floor with uh, sort of violent uh, abnormal limb movements. There may be sensory symptoms which include tingling or paresthesia affecting the arms and the legs. And there can also be speech or swallow related issues. It's often associated with fatigue and tiredness. Uh, there may be uh, mood changes and sleep can be effective affected and there may also be some cognitive problems which can affect uh, memory, concentration and decision making. Most patients would uh, see a GP and be referred to a neurologist. Uh, you should expect a sympathetic um, consultation uh, based on biopsychosocial principles. Um, you should uh, give a full history and receive an examination to look for a, a range of conditions that can mimic functional neurological disorder. Um, a neurologist will be able to carry out a neurological examination looking for positive signs which confirm the diagnosis. If there's a suspicion of something structural uh, or epilepsy, you may have further tests which would include imaging of the brain and spinal cord or an EEG, an electroencephalogram of uh, brain activity to, to look for epilepsy. Um, some of the conditions which can present in a similar way include multiple sclerosis, uh, stroke, uh, neuromuscular conditions and lesions in the uh, central nervous system. The mainstay of treatment is early tailored education uh, with a uh, focus on self-management and self-care. Mm -hmm. Lifestyle management is important and uh, exercise is helpful. Uh, a, one way to understand uh, uh, functional neurological disorder is to consider it as a sort of software problem rather than a hardware problem and there's some abnormality in the way in which sensory information is processed. So cognitive behavioural therapy can be useful uh, in managing anxiety, depression and mood changes and helping manage the condition. Physiotherapy is important for retraining and learning um, coordinated muscle activity, helping with tremor. An occupational therapist can provide useful advice and equipment on managing at home and at work. A speech and language therapists can provide support if there are swallowing or speech related difficulties. And there are some support groups that can provide helpful support. Um, the treatment is mostly symptomatic, so this may include pain medications if there's associated pain or muscle spasm. Uh, that could include opiates. Uh, SSRIs or antidepressants for mood disorders or depression, uh, muscle relaxant medications to help relax the muscles, sleep medications to improve, improve sleep, and some patients benefit from prescribed cannabis-based medicines. Um, I hope you found this information useful and if you have functional neurological disorder, um, I hope you're able to find the right help and support and feel free to get in touch. Thank you.